She's over 100 years old, you know, God knows where it's been, what it's seen. This is just a little bit bigger, yeah. We, those, I think we, our apples are too big. This has too many, too many layers, so this is wrong. Okay. Um, you know, it's supposed to be a square corner. I mean, there's rounded corners on this thing. That's the ammunition. 150 grain projectile travels over 2,600 feet per second. They would just put their eyeball on it here, line this up with the backstop, and then anything between the end of the muzzle and the backstop that's on that line, that trajectory, uh, gets shot. Well, we have to Probably. make right now a sort of critical decision, which is do we shoot the bullet on the right or do we shoot the bullet on the left? You see there's some groove markings on that bullet hole? Those grooves are created as the bullet rifles out of the barrel. He can tell the direction the bullet is traveling and rotating. In fact, the setup had to be in that direction because otherwise right. the bullet would be rotating in the wrong direction. It doesn't come out of that barrel no. spiraling this way, it comes out spiraling that way. Do you want to recreate the image he printed or do you want to recreate the negative he shot and then do the reversal? Let's shoot okay. as he shot it. We need to flip the cube. Debbie, Debbie said the negative was shot the other way. So what we're going to do now is take one test fire of the rifle and because we can't really see that well through the uh, three mil thick polyethylene sheeting that is our cube over there, uh, what we're going to do is punch a hole in both sides using the bullet and it'll give us the trajectory of the bullet and we can string a string from the entrance hole to the exit hole and on that line we can place the apple. Test fire, test fire, three, two, one. Got it, thank you. Yeah. The shell here and the shadow of the shell are not perfectly parallel, and this side of the apple is the the, the backsplash here is pretty close, but it's also higher than the stuff coming out of this side, which means the backdrop has to be tilted. No, bullet no, it's going to be here. Yeah, yeah. But, no, oh, wait, no, bullet's going to be here. That's right. That is yeah. right. So the next step is set up the strobe. So this is what's known as a piezoelectric trigger. Now the cool thing is that the bullet's flying along at supersonic velocity. And because it's supersonic, it has a sonic boom, a shock wave that travels with the bullet. In this case, that sonic boom's going to rake back at a rather sharp angle. But when the sonic boom hits the mic, whoop, you fire the strobe. And five is put in apple and shoot. Applesauce. The line is hot, the line is hot. Okay. Lights off. Fire. Lights up. Lights clear. The apple's gone. Line is hot, the line is hot. Lights off, please. You know, at some point we run out of apples, at some point we get the backdrop so clocked up. The last time tonight, the line's hot, the line's hot, oh, you get the ball. Lights off, please. Fire. Lights on, please. Line's clear, line's clear. Oh, see, God, what happened? Um,